Hi guys, welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews. Tonight we're going to talk about Batman Beyond Issue 50, written by Dan Jurgens, with art by Sean Chen. This is the final issue in this title of Batman Beyond, or this volume of Batman Beyond. So, this volume of Batman Beyond has been absolutely fantastic. I think there's only been a handful of issues that I really honestly did not enjoy. Everything else has been absolutely fantastic, and these 50 issues have done a lot to build up, build up and build out out the mythos and character set within uh, the Batman Beyond universe or within uh, that character set. We've seen Damian Wayne show up as the new Ra's al Ghul. We've seen Matt McGinnis, Terry's brother, take on the role of Robin. We have seen Eliana, Grayson Dick, Grayson's daughter, come forward and take on the role of Batwoman. Uh, we have revealed the identity of Terry McGinnis to Dana Tan. Uh, we um, have Melanie Walker, who is 10 from the, the Royal Flush Gang. Uh, kind of join the Batman family. It's just been an absolutely amazing run, and I'm very sad to see it go. Now, going into this issue, I kind of expected us to maybe do a uh, like a montage sort of issue, just kind of capping off all of the different plot threads that we had throughout this entire run, a lot of the ones that I just mentioned. What we got instead was almost forward-looking, kind of setting up maybe a new series coming down the line. Now, as of this recording, I have not heard of anything new coming out within the world of Batman Beyond coming down the pipe in, in 2021. I will say, though, that February, January and February, DC is doing all of their future state stuff, and there wasn't anything in the March solicitations Batman Beyond related, so maybe it's coming in April or over the summer, and we just haven't heard about it yet. Um, but this book um, does a lot to set up what I would presume would be a Justice League uh, Beyond series or a Justice League uh, Unlimited kind of series within the, the Batman Beyond universe, which we've seen before. I think it was short-lived, maybe like 10 or 12 issues, and we saw a version of the Justice League and the Batman Beyond cartoon itself. So this book was not at all what I expected. This issue wasn't what I expected, but um, it does give me hope that we're going to see more Batman Beyond stuff sooner rather than later. Also in this issue is Wonder Woman, and she looks fantastic. It's uh, You can see on the cover here, she doesn't look like she has aged a day at all, and it looks she looks pretty much the exact same uh, in the book here. Uh, as far as the story goes, um, aside from the stuff that makes me think we're going to get some uh, bigger things in the Batman Beyond universe later on, it's kind of a story that is is familiar. Ink uh, poses as Batman, kills someone, and so Wonder Woman sees that footage and then hooks up with Terry McGinnis to try and figure it out, and it's just kind of a fairly standard Ink story if you're familiar with that character from the Batman Beyond TV show. So um, the kind of... Um, singular plot for this particular issue is fine. It's nothing uh, mind-shattering, but it's also far from just bad. It's just kind of a smidge cookie cutter, but what really excites me is, again, uh, making me think that we're going to get something uh, bigger down the line in the Batman Beyond universe. So, that's enough rambling for me. Let's go ahead here and get into the pages and talk about all the fun stuff therein. So, we open up here with um, Wonder Woman. She is the, uh, the cloaked figure that we see here they kind of play coy with it and don't reveal who she is until the middle of the book but she's on the cover and it's like says guest starring a wonder woman you can see she's wearing a cloak on the cover we know who it is and so we see uh in black and white here and that's very key because it uh, uh washes out the coloring on the batman logo on the uh, the chest piece there Basically, they are watching uh, him, and he kills this security guard that we'll see here in a minute. One thing I do want to point out, it might be on um, the another page. Oh, here it is right here. It says, uh, will do, but the ring verifies it has not been doctored. So that makes me think that there is a Green Lantern uh, who is speaking that, about that out of frame. There was a um, almost uh, Aang, the, or there was a, a little bald boy, kind of a um, uh, Tibetan monk-style character who was the, uh, the Green Lantern in the, the TV show, if I remember correctly. Uh, so we see um, our fake Batman here run a big old knife or gun, or uh, not gun, a blade uh, through the security guard's um, uh, chest there. very looks very much like the, uh, the, the T-1000, I think it was, from the, the Terminator 2 movie. And the, the other liquid one from the uh, Terminator Dark Fate was the most recent one. It was a better one than I thought it was going to be. So anyway, uh, this our fake Batman kills the security guard, steals whatever this box is, and runs away. And now um, 
Wonder Woman is going to do some investigating on what that is. Flash here to uh, Batman. He's just taking a uh, flight around, doing going on patrol like Batman does. And Dana Tan calls him and says, Matt and Bruce were attacked. They, well, you need to be here. And so Batman rushes to the hospital, but not before um, he gets attacked by the police and eventually has to um, run away from him. Of course, the police right now think that he is responsible for the murder of that security guard and the theft and so they're after him he uses the the suit's powers uh the suit's tech to go invisible and get away from them and go straight to the hospital where he runs into a, a lot of the female characters that we've had over the course of batman beyond of course dana tan who called him uh commissioner uh barbara gordon and then you can see uh melanie uh, walker right here i do wish we'd gotten a little bit more with melanie walker over the course of this series i think they did a lot with her character she's almost become kind of a uh, uh, analogous to uh, Catwoman in the uh, the modern day comics with her relationship with Batman. Knows who Batman is, um, essentially part of the Batman family there despite her past. I do wish maybe she had taken on a Batman uh, persona, like a, a Bat family persona, like a new Batgirl or or something uh, to that effect, but we can leave that for, for future issues. I'm just glad that she's gotten as much page time as, uh, as she actually has. So Maddie comes out and he's got a broken arm and tells them what happened, says uh, Batman or someone dressed like him came into the lab looking for something and turned on us, uh, sent me flying with a backhand and would have been worse if Mr. Wayne had not stepped in. And then Bruce Hashley had a heart attack. Uh, Matt says he had a heart attack and he went down. The bogus Batman grabbed some kind of device and took off. Barbara says the cardiologist says Bruce is in rough shape. And then I, I do like this because um, Dana and Terry kind of left on Bad terms. Dan, or, uh, Terry says, um, it's been a long time since we talked, uh, and things were tense, and she says, nope, don't worry about it, we're good, you need guys, you need to take care of this, and so uh, Batman goes into, or Terry goes into to see Bruce, and he's just almost out there, he's on the transplant list, and he's about to um, go in and get a heart transplant, but Batman, being Batman, leaves them a clue, he drops his cup and uh, points to the, the liquid on the ground with his uh, hand, saying, oh, trying to point to that it's ink or, or something to that effect wonder woman walks in and says uh, was it an accident or is it possible he's trying to tell us something pointing to the liquid and there she is in all her glory looking her um her costume looking very much like the uh, the movie costume actually my wife and i watched wonder woman 84 last night good way to spend uh christmas uh christmas evening wasn't the greatest movie it was, it was okay maybe that's a, a subject for uh another video and so she says here, maybe it was a clue about the attacker, and she says, I'm here to help an old, fr old friend and perhaps make a new one if you'll permit it, Mr. McGinnis. And he says, you know, uh, look, I haven't, I realize I haven't done, uh, ha I didn't have anything to do with this, I'd never, and she says, of course, uh, Bruce's behavior has made it clear that we are to trust you, let's find a more private place to talk. So he suits up, they go to the roof, and so they start having a conversation, and he's like, uh, this week that you mentioned, of course, mentioning uh, meaning the Justice League. Uh, she says, we, we, we're grateful that Bruce found someone uh, to take over him, someone trustworthy. Terry says, I consider him family if anything would happen to him. And she says, no man has ever been con more conditioned to fight than and survive than Bruce. And so they're talking about he's getting uh, an artificial heart right here replaced. And so they're talking about uh, down here, uh, they're going to the scene of the crime to do the investigation. Terry here says that they are at uh, Wayne Tech R&D, the water that Bruce knocked to the floor, and the footage of someone looking like me makes it obvious we're dealing with a shapeshifter, one who uh, might appear to be composed of black liquid, and boom, there she is, love this, full page splash here with ink splashing around, um, I always loved this character, she obviously is kind of a, a, a riff on the Clayface character of the, you know, classic Batman rogues gallery, but I always loved ink specifically, I think she she's my favorite of the Batman Beyond main rogues gallery consisting of uh, Mad Stan, of course, Ink, um, oh, 
Powers, um, I don't, uh, Blight, Blight is his name, sorry, I couldn't think of it, and Shreve, I always like Shreve too, um, so she starts attacking them, uh, Bruce, or uh, Terry gives a uh, brief rundown on who Ink is, so Wonder Woman knows, he says, corporate saboteur with a body made of black ink-like liquid that makes it impossible, or it makes it possible to go anywhere super quick and can solidify into most any form that she wants, and so she forms into Batman, but the chest symbol is blue, so that was key into what I pointed out on the first page. The security footage was in black and white, which, come on, they're in like Neo-Gotham, like decades into the future, and they still got black and white security footage. Come on, guys, I get it, I get it. It needed to be black and white, so this could be blue, and you could tell them apart, and it has to be that way to work for the plot, but I don't really believe for a second that security footage is black and white in the future. So uh, they have some uh, some good fighting here. Uh, Wonder Woman not quite knowing what to do with ink because I don't think she's ever really fought a, a villain like that uh, inset in that we see that Bruce is not doing well in surgery we got a flat line I think they say later that he had he rejected the um, the first implant so uh, during the fight Terry pulls out uh, the uh, emergency fire hose because water works the first time and she knocks it out of the hand out of his hand and then he activates a sonic weapon and it like makes her into bubbles almost like rain bubbling on a, on a windshield or um, uh, making going into droplets on a windshield and then she says here don't let me die I don't want to die and so Terry figures out that everything she was stealing was um, meant for her to be able to save her Herself. She, she says here, um, yeah, that's why she needs the stabilizer cube. Uh, has to spend time in it um, if she wants to maintain her form. It's probably the only thing that can keep her alive until someone can find a way for her to live outside of it. Uh, Ink has always struggled to maintain her physical form. She needed this, the power source and equipment here to do it. Look, I'm no expert, but I'll find someone who is. And I absolutely love that. It's very, very Batman. It's like she's, he, he knows that Ink is doing what she's doing. Um, to to make sure that she can survive and if he can help her survive then he's going to do that rather than just tearing her down if you know throwing her uh in arkham or or something to that effect so really good um story like that very typical uh batman stuff so Wonder Woman here, I think, makes the offer, actually makes the offer here um, on the last page. She says here, um, you could have left her on the floor, seeping in between the tiles or going down the drain. And he says, not my style. She's a killer, but that doesn't mean she has to die herself. Bruce will help her, provided he makes it. And then she says, I can see why he took you on. Perhaps we should look in on him. So they go back to uh, the hospital where Bruce is out of surgery and seemingly doing well. Um, Terry up here says, uh, Wonder Woman's impressive. It's just like you. She must have been, uh, you must have made quite the team back in the day. And he says, back in the day, my time isn't over yet, McGinnis. I have plenty left to give. And Terry says, I'm sure, which means that no matter what the bad guys throw at us, the time for a new beginning is here for all of us and so there we go new beginnings versus just focusing on the endings and so wonder woman comes back to terry and says he'll be okay and he says uh it takes more than a heart attack to do a bruce wayne in and then here comes the offer she says it's good to know that some things never change quick here to join me for a quick flight uh those associates i told you about they were watching she says yes my friends want to meet you uh, after all the justice league isn't complete without a Batman and there it says it definitely not the end so hopefully we get more Batman Beyond sooner rather than later hopefully we get more Wonder Woman Beyond and more Justice League Beyond along with it because I would love to see what that character set looks like in uh, Batman Beyond um, maybe it's the same character we've seen before in that short lived comic series and in the original cartoon show uh, or it's a whole new crop of characters I don't care I just want to see it so guys that is the final issue of Batman Beyond in this particular volume. What did you think about this issue? What do you think is coming next? And what did you think about this series as a whole? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time here at the channel and you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It would absolutely mean a lot to me. Until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.